Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we will be making this custom welcome sign made with frosted, acrylic, and vinyl. The full list of supplies and fonts used for this project is located in the video description below. To make designing my sign easier, I insert a box to serve as a placeholder, making it the same size as my acrylic sheet. I then change the color to closely match the material I am using. Next, copy the words we are using and paste that into a text box within Cricut Design Space. Center your text. You'll then need to change the font to whatever you want. For this project, I'm using Paradiso and Break Walkout, both which are linked below. I change the font style to bold so it's easier to cut and work with. You can also always change the color of the wording to match the vinyl that you're using, but for this project I'm just leaving it black. Roughly position that to get a better idea of spacing. I think there is too much space between each line, so I will size that down to a negative 2. Next I duplicate that and paste in the date so it has the same style elements as the top part. Now that those are roughly in place, I am ready to insert the names. Same thing, copy and paste into a text box. For the names, I am using the font Break Walkout. So the and I was not a huge fan of, so I'm actually just going to change that to a plus symbol. And since uh, with most fonts, the letters do come detached, I ungroup those, zoom in a little bit so I have a better idea what I'm working with, bring those letters together, and then weld them back together again. Once those are welded, I make them just a little bit bigger and drag them over onto my placeholder. I'm sure this part will be different for everybody. Even for each of my signs, it's a tad different because every name that I'm using on the signs is different. So I just start kind of playing around with the position and just seeing what is pleasing for the eye. So although your names might not be perfectly um, centered, I do want the top and the bottom part to be. Once everything is in the position that you want it, remove your placeholder box, select everything all together, and then attach or weld that. Now you'll see up here there is a little orange triangle that's telling us that this project is too big for our mat. So what we are going to do is cut this into two pieces so it will fit on our mat. All I do is enter in another box, kind of like the placeholder, um, but what I'm doing is making this the 11 and a half by 23 and a half um, because that is how much our Cricut can cut. I'm just kind of putting it over the text to see what makes the most sense um, cutting this. Now with these bigger signs, I usually end up splitting it into two, um, kind of horizontally this way. Um, and then you'll see why it just fits on the mat, um, still fits on the mat with both of them together, so I can still do it in one cut. Now of course this sign is for an 18 by 24 inch, but I have done other sizes, just for your placeholder, enter in whatever size sheet you are working with, and then you can split it into however many portions, sections that you need. Um, if you need more help on this, or if you're doing a really big sign, I do have another video where I do almost a six foot long sign with multiple layers and everything. So I will link that down below. 
for this project, I'm using Oracle 651. Um, pretty much all my projects, I use it. It's just really easy to work with and still comes up off the signs really easily since all of these are rentals. Um, that is important for me. Now I'm placing the vinyl down. I start on one side and just use my extra large Cricut scraper to make sure that that stays flush as I am working it across the mat. Then I just use my Cricut knife to cut off the excess. Now it is time to load our project in our machine. I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, but um, on the Cricut Design Space, I am cutting on the premium outdoor vital setting. And this is how it looks after it's cut on my mat, um, how I positioned it on there. You, I'm not even using the full 24 inches of the mat, so I even have some extra space to work with. When I'm working with large projects, I do like to take my knife and kind of cut out each section, um, sometimes even each row if I'm working with more intricate pieces or just a lot of letters. Um, this makes it easier for me to kind of realize if any letters are peeling up or maybe if I'm missing something um, or a detail or something like that. And I'm just going to put my transfer tape on top of that, kind of the same method that I did laying down my vinyl. I place it down on one side and then slowly use my scraper to adhere that um, to the vinyl. Same thing, using my Cricut knife again to cut off the excess transfer tape. One thing I like to do is, again, with my Cricut knife, go in, but with heavy pressure, um, making a cut all the way through the transfer tape and the cardstock backing to the vinyl, um, just so I can split these into two different pieces. Now that my decal is ready to be placed on my acrylic, I just give my acrylic a quick dust off with a microfiber cloth just to make sure there's not any dust or debris on there. Um, now I line this up on my extra large Cricut mat, which the acrylic works great on because most of the time you can see through it. Um, and then I just wanted to show you there whenever you are working with just the transfer tape and you're trying to place it down sometimes it can get wrinkly so what I like to do is leave a portion of the cardstock on there but I still like to keep the vinyl like all connected I like to keep the transfer tape connected just so the positioning on it is right still um, but it's just way easier to work with if I leave the cardstock behind um, the name and then just line up the wording on the top and then the bottom part I'm just slowly peeling the transfer tape and then using that micro cloth um, to put my hand on it just so I don't leave any fingerprints or mess up the vinyl or something like that. Now this is how I do it. I peel off the part that I want to put down, but then I just um, cut off that cardstock. I just leave the rest on the name, and then I start positioning that on to the piece. Use my soft scraper to varnish that down, and then do the same thing with the name. Just lift that up, and then slowly lay that down. This transfer tape works really well in the acrylic because it doesn't leave any residue, so I will definitely make sure to link that down below as well. 
So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and make sure to hit that subscribe button for more DIY wedding related videos.